All right, so what we're doing here is we're gonna go through a lunch that I just had, and I want you to tell me what you think that this lunch is gonna do to my blood sugar. You take a guess, and I'm gonna let you know as we go along. Now, what you notice here is I've got two yogurts. These are the Chobani uh, yogurts. I have two of them, and I need a spoon, of course, because we need to get that stuff into the bowl. So this is something that I went out and I rode my bike about two hours prior to having, uh, one can call it a break fast or uh, my lunch. And so I'm just getting the yogurt into the bowl. Now there's big controversy because if you go on to YouTube, you will find that some people feel as though a keto diet would be the best. Other people feel a carnivore diet would be the best. I just heard recently there's a new diet out there called the lion diet. Um, but then you have the other extreme, which would be a vegetarian or a vegan diet. And even within the, the vegetarian or vegan diets, you've got um, uh, plant-based, you've got OMAD. You even have people trying to do a plant-based uh, vegan diet with um, OMAD. So that's a challenge right there. So now I'm gonna go in the freezer and I'm gonna get some uh, frozen berries. These are just standard uh, organic berries that you get frozen in the supermarket. So I'm gonna put those in my yogurt. So we've got two things of yogurt. We've got probably about a handful and a half of frozen berries, which should consist of blackberries, uh, blueberries, um, raspberries, and I believe that's basically it. Now I've got to wash my hands here because you got all those blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries. You don't want to get that on anywhere near where your wife will see it. Now we're going to go in the cupboard and I've got two things that I'm going to add. I'm firstly going to add uh, probably around three ounces of sliced almonds. And almonds are also controversial. Uh, almonds, uh, some people feel they're bad for you because they have fat. Other people think that they're super healthy. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some chia seeds in the uh, yogurt here. And again, <clears throat> some people feel chia seeds are unhealthy, some people are not. But what we wanna do is we wanna know what do you think this does to my blood sugar and what would this do to your blood sugar? Could you actually eat this? So we're just gonna take a small break. I've got a little message for you from the sponsor of today's video and then after the message, we're gonna discuss what this actually does. So I wanna thank today's sponsor. You notice I'm wearing these bracelets, these real fashionable, cool bracelets. These are from Rain so or Well Mag Jewelry. I'm gonna put a link right down here for their website. And if you wanna get some jewelry, uh, you can go to their website, use, there's, a, there's gonna be a uh, discount code down at the bottom for 20% off. And this bracelet and this bracelet actually has magnets in it. And many people believe that the magnets allow the person to increase their blood flow in their body and it has many benefits for your health and your overall sense of wellness. So show this company some love, go to their website, check them out, see if there's anything that you like and if you like something you can get some jewelry at 20% off. Okay, so I'm gonna just sit down now and have lunch and let's discuss what does this do to blood sugar. Well, here's the good news and the bad news. The good news and bad news is what happens to my blood sugar is not important, it's what happens to your blood sugar. I'm gonna give you an analogy. Peanuts, are peanuts healthy? Are they good for you? Well, the answer is if I'm allergic to peanuts and I go into anaphylactic shock after eating peanuts, then peanuts are not healthy for me. But does that mean that we should outlaw peanuts and you should not be allowed to eat peanuts? The answer, of course, is no. I'm the one that needs to restrict myself from peanuts, not you. So this meal that I just had, what does it do to my blood sugar, my personal blood sugar? The answer is 
it does not raise my blood sugar significantly. And the reason why is because I don't have diabetes. I'm not pre-diabetic, I'm not fully diabetic. I have a normal response to carbohydrates and food like what you saw in this video. However, if a person is insulin resistant, they're pre-diabetic or they have a full-blown type 2 diabetes or type 1 and they don't get their insulin, then what happens is this food that I just showed you in this video can have devastatingly bad effects on your health. So what does this meal do to the blood sugar? It depends on the person who is eating it.